Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today on iOS Advice we are going over shared photo streams. This is a new feature in iOS 6 that allows you to share specific photos with friends and family and it's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you how to get it set up and get going. So the first thing you want to do from your home screen is go into your photos app and once you're in here you'll have three tabs at the bottom. Just make sure that you're on the photo stream tab here. The easiest way to do this is to tap on the plus sign in the top left corner up here and you'll have this little pop-up menu pull up. What you wanna do here is type in an email address. So in this case, I'm going to type in dom at appadvice.com and then we're going to name the photo stream here. We'll just name it Hey. Now, the third option you have is to make it available on the public website. This will allow anybody to view the shared photo stream on iCloud.com. So that's totally optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. And then all you have to do after that is tap on Create. So as you can see, this photo stream was created down here and it says shared by me. The invitation has been sent to that person. Now I'll show you how that invitation looks in a second here, but if you want to edit who is invited to this photo stream, all you have to do is tap on that little blue arrow right there. That'll take you to this page where you can add subscribers or delete them. So as you can see, we have dom at appadvice.com. I can tap on add people and add more people to this photo stream or I can go in here and resend the sharing invitation or remove the subscriber. And again, you can set the public website option down here or delete the photo stream. So now that we have that set up here, all you have to do is add photos to the photo stream. Now you can do that within the photo stream itself by entering in there and tapping on edit. And then you can tap on the add button in the bottom center here. And then we can go in and add photos to the photo stream and then tap on done and then I'll put those right in there and share them with those people or you can do it directly from an album. So we can be in a photo album here, tap on edit, select a couple photos, tap on share, and then we can tap on photo stream. It'll give us an option to select the existing photo stream or create a new one. And we can select that and go ahead and tap on post. Now in the photo stream here, you see that we have four pictures available, all four photos that I added. So let me show you what the invitation looks like now for the people on the receiving end of this photo stream here. All right, so the folks that you sent an invitation to to join your photo stream will receive an email that looks very similar to this. It'll say join somebody's name photo stream and it will give you this little button right here to join this photo stream. All they have to do is tap on that button. Now it says People using this shared photo stream will see your Apple ID if you join. So just keep that in mind. It's up to you if you'd like to do it or not. It also says to join a shared photo stream, you must have an Apple ID and iCloud. And so you can learn more by clicking that little link there, or you can just go ahead and tap on the button. And so once they've tapped on that button and joined the photo stream, it will appear in their photos app. They will see something very similar to this in their photos app here under photo stream, and they will receive any pictures that you add to the photo stream you created. It's a great way to share photos and not have to worry about the hassle of emailing or messaging or anything like that. So I'd go ahead and check it out and let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. This is Dom and have a great day.